Hey, this is SkyPhotographyBonsai.com. Today I just wanted to talk about a quick little thing I noticed with the forum posting someone mentioned. It's kind of common sense, but it's still a cool little tip. So this is a D600. Of course, it's a full frame. And it relates to flash units. I just have a basic flash, young new, you know, 460-2, which means it's fully manual. It doesn't have high speed sync or anything like that. So with the full frame camera, what you can actually do is sync, you know, higher than your camera's standard sync speed in DX mode, which means it's a cropped format. I have D600 with the 28 millimeter lens. In crop format, it'll get you, uh, you know, uh, it's pretty standard focal length. So I'm gonna put this flash on here and then fired it off at around 1 400th of a second and you'll see that actually fills a full frame so you see no bars on the bottom that was let me pull that back up so 400th of a second at 5.6 with a fully manual flash and the whole frame is still fully lit with the flash there's no uh, you know the shutter you don't see it so what I also did is pulled out my wireless triggers and the sad thing about these is they don't really do much but I can get a little slightly faster sync speed and it's really just a limitation of these triggers. So I'm going to shoot it off at 400th and then you'll see the black bars show up if it, if it fires off. <laughs> Let me turn them on first. So you can see black bar over half of the frame there. Let's pull it back up. So pretty bad there but if I turn it down to 250th which is faster than this camera you know it's 200th of a second normally so full frame there no bar and that was 250th of a second but if I go over that with these wireless triggers you know I get the bars so so you can see 320th still get the bars if I could get faster triggers I could actually sync this in DX mode at 400th of a second it doesn't go past that but still a cool feature that you could try out or of course you could just shoot in um, FX mode and just you know crap but this is still nice you get the framing inside the viewfinder and I think it's really worth checking out just to play around with. Thanks.